Peace, y'all. <clears throat> Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so what I'm pretty much getting um, so far for the energy today is that you can't manifest from a lower frequency, okay? Um, and the cards that came out was Magician in the Mirror, the third chakra is in the reverse position, and then the Thinking Man in the reverse position. And so somebody, I don't know if you're masculine or feminine, um, I don't know if this could be somebody connected to you, you know, just take it in and if it doesn't resonate, leave it where it's at. But, um, however, somebody is, I either don't understand how the power of manifestation works or, um, that's what I'm hearing. Clarify. So the thing is, like with the magician in the mirror, you pretty much are a master manifester. You already know, or you should know how to um, utilize the tools that you have on your belt in order to manifest, right? I feel like somebody may have the tools to do it, okay, but it's uh, disconnected from their path, right? Or not fully understanding how to use these tools. And again, with this third chakra in the reverse, that's your life force energy, okay? So if your vibe is off, then you're not on the same frequency as the universe to be able to manifest, right? To be the magician in the mirror. And so there could be something that someone is not taking advantage of. Um, and it's also a feeling of resistancy to the change. Because, you know, it's like, okay, you, you got the tools, but somebody kind of keeps replaying the same pattern or behavior or something here and not taking advantage of the fact that they have the tools or a great opportunity to be able to utilize this through um, because they won't raise their vibration, okay? So tell me about the third chakra reverse. Yeah, so it's going to take a shift of perspective here um, to understand like how important your energy is in order to manifest, right? With the Page of Pentacles. And... The Page of Pentacles is really like somebody who's really curious and they're, you know, just in the beginning stages of whatever journey that they're getting ready to take, right? They're still like uh, students. Let's just put it that way, right? Um, so, of course, again, when it's just the beginning and you're learning new things, sometimes we don't always apply them um, effectively, efficiently, or as we should, right? Um, cause it, it takes habit to do this. So, um, it says the higher font, right? So when I'm seeing the higher font is like, it's going to take for someone to really just get still and really do some meditation here. Okay. Maybe do some yoga, um, to get the clarity and also to unblock these chakras. I feel like this is a part of, you know, um, this is a part of your path or your purpose manifesting because you are co-creator to the divine. Like you are literally the alchemist of your life. Okay. Like everybody possesses this power. It's just that some people don't understand or know how to use it. Okay. Tell me about this thinking man is in the reverse. Because of worry, nine of swords, the wounded warrior. So, yeah, that'll definitely stop your manifestation, okay? If you're so busy worried about if something's going to happen, it's going to throw your energy off, right? Because you're putting your, your energy into worrying, which means that you're going to now attract more things to worry about or you're going to start seeing situations that, you know, that are worrisome, if that makes sense. It's like now, all of a sudden, your bills are amplified more. Your bank account seems like it's always negative. You understand? Because now you're putting that energy out into the universe, and it's actually a scientific method behind it, and it's called the rod system, okay? This is something that we already um, possess in our brains, okay? And so our minds, um, literally, it'll filter out what's important and what's not important. And so if you're focusing heavily on the wrong things say like lack of money then guess what now your mind is beginning to see situations that involve you not being able to have enough money 
okay? But if you focus your mind on abundance, so now your mind starts to look for things that reflect abundance. So you get how what I'm saying. It's like, and then when this is damaged, um, which can happen through substance abuse, um, drugs, alcohol, it can be an injury, you know, something traumatic that could have happened to the cerebellum of the brain. But however, it's like when we aren't utilizing the tools that we possess, then we are, let me just say it's a disadvantage to us, okay? So you you know your frequency is key to manifesting. If your chakras are not in alignment, then you're not on the same frequency as the universe. That's just what it is. So you got to get clear, okay? You got to get clear. You got to get balanced. Um, take some time and do some motivation, um, look, motivation. Maybe you might need to do some motivational, um, um, affirmations or something like that, or listen to motivational, uh, videos, books, you know, things of that nature. Um, I'm being told to pull from something different here. So, and this can affect literally all areas of your life. It may not just have to be your love life. It could be your money, you know, it could be your health. Um, six of pentacles and when i see that it's basically like the law of attraction and here it says the good you do comes back to you okay so an unexpected flow of abundance is literally trying to come in right but you also have to reciprocate what comes in through sharing with others, okay? Or through, um, yeah, sharing with others that are less fortunate or giving. Like, even if it's not financial, um, it could be your time. It could be your resources, whatever it may be, all right? So it's, it has to work in flow, okay? It's an equal give and take in all things. If the universe gives to you, then you got to give back to the universe in some kind of way, all right? Now, and that's the part that this thinking man may be also missing. Then the eight of cups comes out in the reverse. Guess what? Somebody needs to move on. There's more than life than what you are experiencing. So if you're still holding on to something that you need to let go of, whether it's a person, a situation, a habit, a mindset, a pattern, then guess what? You're stuck. You're not manifesting. Because now you're harboring emotions that don't serve you. And it's keeping you on a low vibration, right? It's blocking your third chakra. Okay, so um, you got to choose to make life changes. You have to choose to walk away from the things that don't serve you. Like, this changes should be like priority to you, okay? Um, or to whoever is connected to you, you know, that could be playing its role. And but not until then, yeah, five of swords. Not until then. So what just came to me is like, it's some people that are around you that may have some questionable motives. You don't want to make unwise choices. Okay. So there's a better way that you can do things that will make you happy. Um, somebody may be trying to play the lottery a lot to try to get a gamble um steal cheat whatever that is like that's not that's not the way to do it okay so um you want to avoid people who lack integrity okay somebody could be trying to convince you to do something that lacks integrity in order for you to have a come up tell me about this five of swords Knight of Wands. And so we can see you're very ambitious and very motivated here. When it comes to your vision. But again, there's some people that may be around mm -hmm, Six of Swords that you need to leave behind. They can't they can't go in this next phase with you. Only because these people lack integrity. 